Hello everybody and welcome to my no name, no brand channel. That's right. Today we're going to compare the M1 Spitzing R Pedelec and the Suron MX. Uh, the Spitzing is a 2015 model, 850 watt, unrestricted. The Suron is a 2018 model, 6,000 watt max, a new Fox float shock and a uh, new uh, rear cartridge, new chain, new cable assembly. The bike guy at the Greenway, uh, they took care of all of the update on this, so that way it would be safe and ready to ride. Um, awesome bike. Uh, I did just take a ride on it. Wow, they did a good job. So if you're in Raleigh, the bike guy on the Greenway is probably the place to get any bike work done. They have a ton of bikes for sale too. Pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, they all test rode this and uh, the owner Rob said that um, it is an excellent bike. He said I shouldn't sell it because I can never replace it for what I'm selling it for. So uh, the Suron, I'm not selling. Um, they all rode that as well and everybody's surprised how, how impressive the power delivery is on that. So pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to do a top speed run today. Um, Everybody knows my preference is the Suron because you don't have to pedal, it's, and I'm tight trails all the time. But um, this is really fun to ride, the, uh, the Spitzing. They were $12,000 new. I would never spend $12,000 on a bike, a uh, bicycle. But I mean, having said that, it's, a, it's pretty amazing for a bicycle. It really is. Um, you know, it's the torque sensing motor and all of this, the cool stuff with it. But anyway, let's get on to the uh, high speed run, see which one went. Okay, we're about to do the high speed run on the um, Suron. Uh, I do have some gear here. Um, I have to wear a motorcycle helmet with the Suron because I do have a moped plate for it. I don't have the plate on it right now, but um, it's legal to ride on the street. Um, so I have to wear the motorcycle helmet. Ironically, I think the Spitzing is going to be faster, so I, but I'll be wearing a bicycle helmet. <laughs> In any case, I'm wearing some uh, street motorcycle boots, also some gloves, and I will wear wrist guards um, in case I take a fall. So um, high-speed run. Let's go from here to the church and back. So we'll get a, it's kind of downhill a little bit to the church and then we'll get uphill. Um, so we'll see what the average speed is and the top speed. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are. We're at 86% um, on the battery. 86% uh, because the guy, I did have it at 95% this morning, but uh, they rode about 10% out, I guess, um, when we were having fun with it up at the bike guy on the greenway. Um, since they did an excellent job with that spitzing, so I wanted them to be able to try this that say had never tried it. So um, anyway, I zeroed everything out, zero, zero, zero. So um, we'll know top speed on this because this is not real accurate um, because I do have the 60 tooth uh, rear sprocket on here. So let's go for that Suron high speed run and uh, see how we do. Get some gloves here, some gloves. All right, so we're just going to go out the driveway, make the speed run, come back, and then we'll do the same on the pedal bike. All right. Shady. All right, hopefully my iPhone stays on there. All right. No cheating now. All right, you ready? Go. Down here, turn around, high speed run back. Such a fun bike. All right, so that's the high speed run on the on the Suron here.
M1 Spitzing R Pedelec. Um, we'll go do a high speed run on this, same stuff. I'll reset all the specs on the phone and, uh, and we'll see, see who wins. Um, quite a different bike. I'm not so much a pedal guy. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of, this bike is a lot of fun though. Let me see if I can, all right, let's clear out the stuff here. Uh, what do we do? Menu, reset. Okay, we're all set now. All right, so that could still pop right off of there. Okay, so hopefully you can see it in the video. All right, I got pedal assist on five. Let's get out here and then we'll do a speed run. Now I'm not a pedal guy, but I'll do my best to have a, a fair comparison. All right, no cheating. Get out on the road and stop. All right, you ready? All right, go. Woo. I gotta turn around. Now I'm not a pedal guy, so turning around and doing this is a little bit tougher for me. <laughs> And I don't have the rear brake lever yet for the, uh, all right. <laughs> I don't have a rear brake lever yet for the, uh, for this bike. So you guys they'll stop by pushing the thing, but all right, let's see what we got. Average speed, 15.3. Distance, 0.29, so about the same. Max speed, 33.4. <laughs> so this is actually at that small distance, so 0.15 miles, at that distance, whew, it's actually le uh, slower. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to do a longer high-speed run just to see what, what we can get this up to. Now, if somebody's in shape, <laughs> then you'll, I'm sure you'll be able to beat whatever speed I hit. But let's see what we can do. Let's see what, a, what we can do high speed run on the spitzing. Oh, it's so smooth and quiet, it's silent. All right, so we're not interested in how fast we can hit the top speed, just more like what we can hit. sitting around the house for three weeks <laughs> just from this weather I think that was 34 or 35 so okay so we just did the high-speed runs on the two bikes um, they were real close so uh, it turned out that the Suron at 35 miles an hour is faster than I can make the Spitzing go the max I got the spitzing to go when I doubled the distance, um, so 0.3 miles one way. Uh, so yeah, so a quarter mile, in a quarter mile, I got it up to 34.6 miles per hour. Um, but I think I could get it up to 37, 38 if I was a little in a little more shape and could pedal just a little bit more. So 40 miles an hour, 45 maybe for a, a real bike person that pedals all the time. I think that's realistic. That's super fast for a bicycle. I mean, but it is, man, it is solid. It's all carbon fiber and all that. Anyway, you know the specs on that. It's insane. $12,000 for a bicycle. The Suron I paid $3,500 for, and the controller was an extra 500 
and I put a brand new Kenda 760 rear tire which hooks up a lot better when it's a little slippery out. I like it a lot better. I also did the neck riser and riser bars because I'm 6'3", 190 pounds with gear, maybe a little more, so 190-ish. Um, a lot of people are doing the floating brakes. Um, I think they're fine for what I use it for, but if I was riding on the road and doing, because these will do like 45 stock um, with the 48 to their 42 and the street tires, I would definitely do the floating brakes. Um, that's what I was on all my dirt bikes and um, these brakes are fine for how I use them, but the controller has regen so that helps with the braking. So anyway, as far as the speed comparison, wow just about dead on 35 miles an hour the way I have them set up um, the the spitzing is stock uh, the only thing I've done to the spitzing I think I mentioned it is a new Fox float for the rear um, and I just had it all uh, maintenance done uh, and things set up at the at the bike guy brand new cassette rear cassette new chain um, new chain new cable uh, whatever he said was the thing to do, they did it. Oh, brand new tubes in the tires. If I lived like in the city, I would not sell this bike. I mean, this would be what I would ride every day um, because you won't get any second looks. I cannot ride the Suron in the bike path in the city and get away with it. Whereas a bicycle, this, and at 35 miles an hour, if you want to crank it out, wow. It's commuting speed and in the city, it's probably faster. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, hope you guys are having a great day, a great holiday. So are you ready? All right, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> I win! Did I cheat? <laughs> Y'all did so good. You did so good. <laughs> oh, bash guard time. <laughs>